Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Daggerfall and the adventures of Nazim al -Ashabah. He is in the city of Daggerfall currently, and he recently purchased for the first time in his illustrious career as a sword singer two dwarven items. A dwarven pauldron and a dwarven katana. How badass is that? <laughs> so he's gone from an elven katana to a dwarven katana, and he is ready for more adventuring. And we got a letter last time. We're going to pull that up real quick. This one here. Nazim al -Ashabah. Greetings and salutations. I hope your trip was uneventful. They say that you are keenly interested in the haunting of Daggerfall. My father and King Lysandus were somewhat close. Should you come visit me, I might be able to shed some light upon recent events involving Lysandus. Prince Lotun, Castle Sentinel. So we are headed back to Sentinel. And that is music to Nazim's ears. For that is the general region from which he hailed. So, his early years were actually in the Alakir Desert, but he did spend some time in Sentinel as he was growing up and in his young adulthood. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go to the capital city, city of Sentinel, staying at inns along the way, going by ship. Oh, and we can go somewhat leisurely, I suppose. We are not uh, in any kind of urgent hurry right now. One week later. Greetings. The guard by the door intones in a bored voice. All those having business with Queen Akarithi pass through the door at the back of the hall. Well... I'm not sure I recall where Prince Lotum can be found. Oops. Why is it not... Ah, so this is him. This is he, <laughs> however I should say that. So let's go ahead and chat with him right now. Welcome to Sentinel, Nazim. I guess you must have received my letter. I know some things about Lysandus and why he might be haunting Daggerfall. But pff, before I tell you, you have to promise to do something for me first. Is that alright? Yes. You will? Thank, R.K. You see, I used to have an older brother, 10 or 11 years older than me, named Lairton. Whenever I ask what happened to him, I'm told a different story. Some say he got sick and died. Some say he was kidnapped by the Underking. I want to know the truth. If you can find some proof of what really happened to him, I'll tell you all I know about King Lysandus. Excellent. Okay, so that's interesting. So now... We look in our logbook. So Prince Lotun of Sentinel has asked me to investigate the death of his brother Lairton, who was supposedly kidnapped by the Underking years ago. I don't know much about this Underking character, so I wonder if we'll uh, get some more details about him as we go through this quest. I feel like I'm noticing a little more slowdown and stuttering in this area, probably just because it's a bit busier. This laptop is somewhat different hardware than my old one. So it might be the case that I still need to tweak some settings to get it performing optimally for this type of game. But in any case, it's still, uh, you know, good enough for my needs and my tastes. Now, as far as what we can do to investigate, I think this is, as with many quests in uh, Daggerfall, I think this is kind of a case of uh, we need to sort of wait around for someone to contact us and give us more info. So... We can go to the Order of the Candle, that is the Knightly Order, which Nazim has joined. We might even take a quest from them if we continue to not get any further information about how to proceed with this quest. Two hours later. How goes it, everyone? <laughs> it is I, Nazim! A member of your fabled house, your fabled knightly order. Okay, they're all wondering what the heck is wrong with me now. 
Fellow members of the Order of the Candle have to stick together. Indeed. Any news? Fair day to thee. Please disseminate a little news, will you? Poor Prince Loton is in one of his moods. He's so different from Grecklith. Fair enough. Greetings. Ah, do you have a quest for me? Hmm, let's see what tasks we have available. Please have patience, wait here a moment, Nazim. The princess or retribution? Oh my. Well, Nazim doesn't like the sound of the retribution quest. Let's see. We may have already taken a princess related quest in the past, but, uh. That's okay. Rescuing princesses and assisting them in various ways, you know, that's one of Nazim's specialties. Nazim, the Princess Kluka has been captured from our protection, and it is the responsibility of us knights to rescue her. Unfortunately, many of our members are off fighting in the war. In the truest spirit of chivalry, will you go to rescue the princess from the vampire who has captured her? Okay, yeah, this is sounding very familiar. I think I did do a similar quest before. But hey, you know what? Again, princesses getting captured by vampires. This kind of thing happens now and then, and uh, yeah, Nazim's good at uh, taking care of it, so sure. You will? I must say, your heart is brave. A vampire is a fearsome foe. Be certain to prepare for a battle. Do not be foolhardy. <clears throat> I think I'm hurting my throat with that voice. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and read the rest of this. A little more normally. We care only for the rescue of the princess. If the vampire can be left alone, leave him. And if you are not returned in 14 days, we will assume that you have failed. And someone will be sent in your place. I am certain you do not want someone else to earn the honor of the rescue. May R.K. bless your journey to the house of Moringeth. All right. Well, and this is appropriate for the Halloween season as well. So fantastic. The next day. A flock of ravens passes overhead. The air is still and oppressive. This is clearly a fallen house. Like the house of Usher in the writings of Edgar Allan Poe. I wonder what deeds, good or ill, members of this house did before their fall. Hard to say. Okay, why am I not seeing the entrance? Am I just being blind here? Come on, where's... Uh... There should be some kind of obvious entrance, right? Oh, there we go. Red eyes stare at us from within. So it begins. Whoa! Paralyzed! Well, that gives me an opportunity to share something else I recently acquired. The Unrestrainable Cloth Amulet. <laughs> I had this amulet identified off-camera while I was preparing for today's questing. And this is an item which casts free action. So now we can move again. What is this thing? Uh, well, it's the thing that killed us, that's what it is. A wraith or something like that. Our first death of the day. But that is not truly to be Nazim's fate. Here we go, jumping back in. Thanks to the blessings of RK, I suppose. He helps us rewind time when we need to. A strange silence envelops you. A wolf howls not far away. This time we see a skeleton. Thank goodness. It's a more manageable foe. Ghost. I'm 
little bit how to practice with this game. There we go, got him. Ooh, an enchanted helm. Very nice. Now why... Oh, there it is. An enchanted chain helm. So we cannot equip it. My class prohibits me from equipping that. That's fine. I still sell it for quite a bit of gold, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, did I check this body? I... So let's go ahead, drop a few items in the wagon. It up, but now we have a new enemy nearby. Hmm. I think the music files in the stream mod may have been updated since uh, the last time I'd heard this song. I think there were some <laughs> there were some differences there. Might take a little getting used to, but in any case, more enemies nearby. Hmm? Oof. Yeah, the map is definitely not as responsive as what I was used to in the past. I will have to see if I can figure out what I need to do with my settings to improve things a bit. Um, or it could be that there's just aspects of my current hardware that just don't agree as well with uh, this type of Unity game. It's hard to say. I'll go this way first. Ooh, we have some water. Nazim's in the mood for a little swimming. Yeah, that kind of horn sound right there. Or, well, I'm not sure if it's a horn, not sure what to call it, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm a fan of that. Let's get our water breathing going. Slay some more slaughterfish. They're even more fearsome looking in this game than they are in Morrowind. Beware my Dwarven Katana. These ones probably never have treasure. Which would make sense. Unless there was... You know, maybe sometimes you could gather fish scales from them or something, I would think. So this... This place is very similar to another... Another dungeon I'd been in recently. Carrying too much to stay afloat. That is a problem. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, let's get back to the entrance again. That morass is surely quite heavy. Oh, that reminds me, I meant to drop off a bunch of gold at a bank in Sentinel. Silly me, because uh, I am carrying quite a bit of gold, and I already have a lot of gold left in a bank of Daggerfall. It's about time I set up a nice account in Sentinel as well. But uh, silly me, I forgot about that. So we're a little bit weighed down by 5,600 gold pieces, 14 kg, okay, 
well, let's drop off a few more things. Let's see what this is all about. Chain Carrasco. Again, <laughs> more enchanted chain armor that we can't really use. So let's see, that's plus four. Remove that. Quick save again. Hmm, it's not letting us rest here. Maybe here. Mostly healed up. Oh, a rat. there is to see here in this underwater portion. We have a floating table. Somehow these underwater areas seem extra spooky. And all of this is very appropriate to the Halloween season. Basically any dungeon in Daggerfall will have very creepy vibes. Perfect here in late October as we look forward to the arrival of Halloween. And who knows, I might not even post this until Halloween Day. We'll see how that works out. Whether today is Halloween or a few days before, I am curious to hear what, uh, what Halloween plans do you have? Do you like to do anything special for Halloween? I occasionally go to Halloween parties, you know, it's fun to dress up and hang out with other interesting folks and uh, <laughs> see what kind of creative ideas people have come up with. I don't go to as many parties and other social gatherings as I used to when I was younger, but uh, it's still fun now and then. Oh my. Well, let's go deeper. Better take a look at my map again. Okay. It's just good to kind of keep your bearings, to maintain a good concept of, whoa, hello, underwater skeleton. You know, speaking of things changing in this dream mod, I have somewhat mixed feelings. I'm not caring too much to stay there. I have somewhat mixed feelings about the, uh, that new appearance of the skeleton. Um, it, I mean, it's definitely better in some ways. The old skeleton's face was a little bit weird when close up. Uh, you know, some of the dream mod textures are not ideal. But this new one, it just takes a little getting used to, I guess, because it always surprises me when I see these skeletons and uh, their face isn't looking quite like what I'm used to from the previous texture. Lots of valuable items here. Time to recast our spell pretty soon. Ah, sweet air. Temporarily we can breathe oxygen from the water again. 
Have you ever had a dream where you were underwater and yet you could breathe? I've had that happen several times because, uh, well, the nice thing about it is you are in fact not underwater, so your body can tell that, hey, you're still, you're still able to breathe and uh, it kind of feels miraculous when you're in the midst of a dream wondering, gosh, how am I, how am I doing this? Have you ever had that experience? I think it's kind of cool. It's almost as if in my dream I really did feel like I had figured something out, like there's some technique to it. Well, I tried to rest up, but we've gotten interrupted by some kind of noise. Who's in here? Try to rest again. Enemies nearby again, huh? Well, then why do I see no enemy? Oh, hello. Yes, Nazim is a great slayer of rats. All healed up. On we go. Oh. Yes, this dwarven katana suits Nazim just fine. Now, could it be that I may have missed any secret doors? I think so. I'm not sure if they're obvious on these maps the way they are in the Elder Scrolls Arena, which I'm still playing through as well. But uh, yeah, I think I'm good to continue. What was that noise? Speaking of secret doors, I feel like I just heard the sound of a door shifting somewhere. Investigate a little more. Click on some of these walls. Especially in here. Hmm. Whatever. We're moving on. reminds me, I <laughs> neglected to cast a recall spell to leave a teleportation anchor at the beginning of the, uh, the dungeon, so we'll take care of that once we go back there. Happy Halloween to all of you. <laughs> Hopefully we will face off against a vampire before too long. Are any of you dressing up as a vampire this year, or perhaps have in the past? I've definitely done the vampire thing once or twice. That could be fun. And speaking of vampires and computer RPGs, uh, I've been meaning to get into something like Vampire the Masquerade a little bit more at some point. I sampled a tiny bit of that game, but never got deeply into it. It is, of course, a somewhat different feel from an Elder Scrolls game, and it might not be my favorite kind of thing, but still, it's intriguing. Here we go. Let's 
drop off some more heavy items. Let's read this potion recipe. Can't use it. Potion of Invisibility Diamond, Ectoplasm, Rainwater, Nectar. I'm not sure I'll have the patience to ever get into alchemy in this game. I usually don't bother with that a whole lot. <clears throat> Secrets to this catacombs hold the strange dungeon under the ruins of the fallen house of Moringith. Music is growing on me the more I hear it, to be honest. And again, I'm not sure if this music file was modified in the latest version of Dream. Or if this specific dungeon music is just one that I hadn't heard as much of in my previous adventures in this game. Because I certainly have been taking long breaks in between play sessions for Daggerfall. <laughs> so I haven't experienced as much of this as uh, some of you perhaps have. An interesting crossroads here. Oh, hello. We got some spiders. Some spideys. One down. And if they try to paralyze me, I don't just have to rely on casting my own free action spell. I have a item, an amulet, that can free me as well. So it's very nice to have that. Although, who knows, I might decide in the future that I don't mind relying on my spell. Oh, that's the vampire. We have already found the vampire. <clears throat> Hanging out with a bunch of creepy spiders. You are a strange one, vampire lady, if you call these friends. save and let's see what we can do now I do have let's see so yeah there's my free action spell that only costs five magicka so yeah maybe I don't need an item to do that for me since I believe this game does allow you to go ahead and cast the spell even when you're paralyzed you can still you know you can still manage to cast that spell so you can get yourself out of it um, Is that a rat attacking me? Rat, I've got bigger fish to fry right now. <laughs> Thank you. So let's go ahead and just dive in here. Hello. Do you enjoy standing on top of a lever? That's very strange as well. Perhaps you were using that in some way that was uh, not intended. 
Your personal hobbies are no business of mine, but oh, down she goes. I have just slain the vampire, the stuff of Kluchka's nightmares. Oh boy, that's awesome. That's awesome that she fell all the way down there. Fantastic. Hello there. I assume you are Kluchka. Let me just uh, gather some treasure before we chat. There's no one else here to surprise us, right? I'm just going to make sure. Don't mind me, just gathering, you know, some important resources. Hello there. You're Nazim. Thank, R.K. I'm Lady Kluchka. Let's get out of here now. All right, lady. Let's do this. So we will, of course, save again. Let's go ahead and put this in this save slot. And I'm curious to see what this will do. Raised a platform. Can we go down and still find the corpse of that vampire? I wonder. Or is this a huge mistake? Okay, so this is probably the vampire. And we better use this again. There is more to see here, but we're not necessarily in the mood for it sightseeing, and uh, Lady Kluchka is eager to get back to her home. So let's recall. That'll do. This is much less exploration than I normally would do, but uh, you know what? This time around, I'm okay with it. Sometimes it's good to keep these quests short and sweet. Especially since this isn't even our main quest of the day. Cautiously. A thin rail of a woman steps forward and hands you a note. She turns aside all your questions with a gaunt, expressionless face. Okay, I think that's what we were waiting for. So let's take a look at that note. Dear Nazim, if you are interested in learning the truth, about Prince Lairton. Meet me at the Bat and Priest in Tasso Parrot of Sentinel. Tasso Parrot. I wonder. What strange person or being awaits us there? Hopefully no one dangerous. At least not dangerous to us. In any case, let's North, more or less. Okay, so here we go back to our nightly order to finish this quest. Although they're locked up. That's right, I think they do not open till 11. Okay. Guess we better just loiter for four hours.
Princess Kluchka, may I more officially introduce you to your good rescuer, Nazim Alashava. You have done a fine and honorable thing this day, my friend, and it shall not be forgotten. Excellent. Well, let's see. Is there someone I could chat with about... It's always good to meet another member of the Order of the Candle. Yes, yes, indeed. Is there someone I can chat with about possible advancement? Fellow members of the Order of the Candle have to stick together. Any news? The Knights are celebrating the heroism of the Great Red Guard who rescued Kluchka. Oh, who might that be? And you, sir. Fellow members of the Order of the Candle have to... Yes, yes. And you, madam. Yes. Any news? Kyurkar has ascended to the throne and is the new count. Long may Kyurkar rule over... Aya Sophia. Okay. Great. What about this lady playing the flute? Lovely flautist. Well met, stranger. And you too, Dirtia. If anyone can help me get some dirt on Dirtia, just let me know. Poor Prince Lotun is in one of his moods. He's so different from Grecklith. Yes, so I hear. Alright. Um, let's see. For meritous service and answering loyalty to the ideals of the Order of the Candle, you have been awarded the title of Squire within the Order. As a symbol of your fellow knight's estimation, we have elected to present you with a new piece of armor. Congratulations, Squire Nazim al -Ashabar. Now that's what I'm talking about. He says he has a fine piece of armor for me. So let's see... Oh yeah, I think we somehow hadn't gotten any gauntlets yet whatsoever, so some steel gauntlets definitely sounds good. We have two identical sets of steel gauntlets here. Uh, we don't really need any of the other pieces. So uh, yeah, a fine pair of steel gauntlets, please. There they are. Beautiful. So at least we have a complete set of armor now. That's very nice. And we've advanced in the ranks. Currently, Nazim has these affiliations. He's a swordsman in the Fighters Guild, an apprentice in the Mages Guild. Need to work my reputation with them, however. I better do a spell, or a spell. I better do a quest with them in the near future. Squire of the Order of the Candle and Novice in the Temple of Arche. save here again. And I might want to refresh my memory. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, I can just look at my inventory again. Tassoparet, or however I should say that. The pronunciation of names in, in this game can often be... Uh, a tricky business. Yes, I wish to travel there. Oh, recklessly is fine. Oh, I forgot that the gates might be shut. With that lovely night sky. Now I'm using the uh, the Dream Sky mod in conjunction with the Dynamic Skies mod. Nazim loves to walk about in the nice, clean desert air and gaze up at the countless stars. These are the kinds of nights in Hammerfell that Nazim grew up with and appreciates so much. In any case, let's go ahead and uh, practice our climbing here a bit. I don't think that should be a major issue. Though I may be proven wrong. Ooh, close. 
So close. There we go. Yep, repel mode down. Took a tiny bit of damage. Castle correct. Hello there, fair horse. <laughs> oh, speaking of horses, here we go. And we have camels. Greetings. <laughs> yes, if you haven't noticed, I am in a bit of a funny mood tonight. And we have a nice raven calling out to us. Perhaps saying, never more. Now let's see, where was... Oh yeah, this way. The book room. Relatively small place. And we have some nice inns to the south. to find is the Bat and Priest. What is this sign here? Just a blank sign? Okay. Nothing important to us anyway. Oh my, a lot of horses. A house for sale. Mouse and Dagger, and there we have the Bat and Priest. I'm not sure what to expect inside. We'll go ahead and find some people to chat with. Nazim al Shh. I would prefer that nobody sees me talking with you. It has come to our attention that the Under King is being wrongly accused of abducting Prince Lairton. Before you judge, check into the fortress of Fojum. I'll mark it on your map. Who am I? Just call me a loyal servant. Now move away before anyone gets suspicious. Go on, scram. Alright, better talk with everybody here. Food and drinks? Yes, don't mind if I do. I think I could do with uh, a fine stew. Oh, and perhaps... I'm not hungry. Okay, fine. Greetings, ma'am. Ah, my friend, how are you this day? So what's the buzz? The knights are celebrating the heroism of the great Red Guard who rescued Kluchka. How can I help you, Nazim? Lady Kluchka has begun writing poetry about the valorous Red Guard who rescued her. Excellent. All right, well, we'll be on our way. And yes, of course, he has nothing further to say. So. So this agent of the Underking told us to check out the fortress of Fojum. Very close to the city of Sentinel. Yeah, we'll go partly by ship. Your path is flanked by toppled masonry you pass a low stone wall. Yeah, this place looks interesting. Sure we're benefiting here from the mod called 
fixed dungeon exteriors or something like that. Chances are all these doors just take us to the same spot, the same you know main entrance of the, the dungeon. So we'll just go ahead and uh, save here. Proceed. Interesting. I'm already intrigued by this place. We have kind of a natural cave system leading down, it seems. This artificial structure going up. Oh! Did we trigger some kind of trap? Not sure what that flash was. And it seemed like we saw some kind of flash earlier too. I assumed that was just something uh, being a little buggy as we were transitioning back to the game. I wasn't sure. This pathway seems rather pointless. Was I missing something there? Perhaps it was just meant to be a trap. Oh my, we have an orc, an unfriendly orc. Please, can we just talk about this? Why must you test your metal against me? Elven Warhammer. Okay. And this time I better remember to and set an anchor now. out our frostbite spell. I've been meaning to uh, give Nazim some chances to practice his destruction magic. Alright. Since we're so close, I guess I'll collect everything. Throw it all in. that flashing again. Kind of like lightning. Are we meant to be seeing that? I mean, if it's from outside weather, then we shouldn't be seeing it. Perhaps there is something arcane going on in here. Very strange. is a bug of some kind. For now, we'll just pretend it's evidence of some strange magic at work in this place. And, uh, so I have to remember... Oh! That's not good. A foul werewolf. 
No wonder the air smelled foul from one of those paths. go down to the right or stay on this level. Let's go this way to the left first. Why all these strange flashes of light? What on earth is going on here? Is this a dwelling place of the Under King or of some of his minions. We were not given very much information. The uh, agent who spoke with us was very vague. Just said we might profit from uh, investigating this place. So it might not be the Under King's place. It might be a hideout for the people who actually did take the uh, prince that we're investigating. super familiar with the uh, main quest of this game. I only played a tiny bit of Daggerfall back in the day. So I'm sure some of you who may be watching know this game much better than I do. Probably have a lot of these main quests somewhat memorized. An orc sergeant. More flashes of light. strange. We're healed up. Let's go back to the beginning. Reset our anchor. Drop off some stuff. And rest up again. Hmm. We can more or less take our time with this quest because I don't think there's any time limit. Certainly none has been communicated to us. We'll go down this way for a little while. Hello there. You, ma'am. What can you tell us of this place? Not in the talking mood, are we? Well then, taste my dwarven katana. A knight. Ah, dwarven tanto. Very cool. Chain gauntlets. Elven longsword. Okay. I might want to start getting a bit more choosy about what I take. No more of the simple stuff. We're already at a point where Nazim is not desperate for gold. There's no need to be greedy. Oh, good. Yeah, you guys fight each other. Yeah, I really don't know what to make of these flashes of light. I really think it might be bugginess. I, I should say I'm using Daggerfall Unity version 1.1.1. I believe that's the version I'm currently using. So it's gone, uh, I think it's incorporated some of the changes that are post inter karma. <laughs> you know, it's gone beyond the, uh, the code and features of version 1.0 that Inter Karma was so wonderful to finish up for us uh, 
around, uh, oh, when was it exactly? Was it right around the end of 2023 or beginning of 2024? I forget, but, you know, somewhere around there. You pick up a death certificate. Wow. An historic document. 23rd of Morning Star, 3rd Era, 400, the Fortress of Fojum. Two days I was sealed within this crypt without food or water. I do not know whether hunger or poor health or one of the creatures who share this dank hole with me will kill me first. I only know that I will soon be dead, and not even my bones will remain. My hope is that in the years that come, this letter will be read and the sad story of Lairton, Prince of Sentinel, will be told. I am fifteen years old at the time of this writing, and have been plagued with bad health for most of my life, to the frustration of my hardy parents. The finest healers and apothecaries in western Tamriel have labored over my every cough and fever, but while they could save my life time and again, they could not improve my sickly constitution. In retrospect, I received little real affection from the king and queen, embarrassed as they were about begetting such a cripple as the heir of the kingdom. I cannot say I missed the love. I received much attention from the doctors, priests, and herbalists constantly at court. Certainly I was not to be the sort of warrior that King Cameron was. But one of my dearest friends, a priest of Stendar, said that I might be the first scholar king in the history of Sentinel. My younger sister, Abaki, was the true favorite of my parents, athletic, beautiful, and charming. It is hard to think of an uncomplimentary word for her. I am resigned to my imminent death, and yet I would like to see her once again. For six years, Abaki and I were the only children of Sentinel. Eight years ago, the queen had a boy child and named him Grekleth, after the ancient Redguard word for strong king. Few speak that tongue any longer, but all the scholars and nobles of Hammerfell understood, and Grekleth is a strong boy indeed. I had never seen so much as... Uh, I, I have never so much as seen him cough. The queen's next child, born only a year after Grekleth, had an even more ominous birth name, Lotun, second boy. Perhaps had I been less sheltered, more suspicious by nature, I might have read into these nominations. Lotun and Grekleth are common enough names in our family, I reasoned. Now I know that even then I was disinherited, even if it was not official yet. For several months before Lotun's birth, and over three years afterward, I was in the throes of a very serious fever. The doctors despaired of me, but somehow and very, very gradually, I recovered. For the first time, and the last, I read an expression on my father, er, I read an expression on my father the king's face that was not indifference, it was disgust. That was a fortnight ago. Three nights ago, I was seized by men I had never seen while I was having a walk. My nursemaid stood by watching placidly as I was gagged and tied and thrown roughly into a sack. I do not know how long they rode with me, but I was eventually left here. When I finally freed myself from my bonds, I found that I was alone. My wanders have gotten me nowhere. This place is filled with undead creatures that prevent me from finding any exit. I have no hope left, but no fear either. A few regrets. Perhaps had I studied magic instead of history and science, I could free myself of this place. One of my tutors told the story of the Underking, how he had placed his life force in the body of a powerful being, and had thus conquered all Tamriel long, long ago. Had I only had the strength of a more powerful body like that, but I did not study magic. I studied history. So I leave this letter not to revenge myself, but as an historic document. Wow. Now that is powerful and saddening stuff. A very sobering tale. And it causes Nazim to realize that uh, perhaps he should not hold Queen Abuki in quite such high esteem, assuming she knew something of this apparent plan to have this poor, sickly child 
this poor sickly prince, captured and taken away, left to die in some dank dungeon, which we will only slightly continue exploring before we move on. The document mainly talks about the king looking at him with disgust. I mean, it's possible that this was uh, only his father's foul plan and not his mother's. We don't know for sure, but chances are she may have known about it and even approved of it as well. Hard to say. Maybe not, you know, maybe she had no idea, in which case she would be very upset as well to hear this news. I think... Uh, I think we will not speak with her when we return, but we will go directly to Prince Lotun. Let him decide what he wants to do with this information. These flashes, again, because of the newer version of Daggerfall Unity that I'm using, these uh, flashes might be because uh, there are some mods that might not agree with this version so much. I have already noticed one or two other mods that don't seem to be working anymore, such as the third-person camera mod. That doesn't seem to be working for me. Um, let's see here. So it could be that the interior lighting mod is having some issues. Alright, now how much more extensively do we want to explore this place? How many more werewolves and skeletons should we fight? Oh! <laughs> Guess we came back around to a familiar spot. I think we've seen and gathered enough for our current needs. So we'll recall. And we will get on our way. It is indeed a stormy night, so it's possible that the bug might just be that lightning effects were showing up underground for some reason. But then again, are we seeing lightning here? I might hang about for just a moment to see. It's kind of funny that we came out of that door. Yeah, sure enough, there are flashes of lightning. I think that's what was going on. practice our climbing skill just a little bit before we head back to the city of Sentinel. I very much want Nazim to become an expert climber and make a lot of things more convenient in the future. Alright. This is a great exterior for this dungeon. Fortress of Fojum, or whatever it was called. Very well then. I suppose we might as well save once again. Oh, let's go ahead and go with this one. enough, we're super close. Let's 
so close, in fact, <laughs> and so little time has passed that the weather is much the same. And here we are in the northeast corner of the city. And I suppose we'll just go back to the palace, complete this quest, and we'll be done for today. So, uh, we've gotten quite a bit done. But because I was not in the mood for super thorough explorations, this is a relatively short video. Hope none of you mind that. <laughs> and uh, I very much appreciate you watching. Please do remember to like the video if you enjoyed it at all. And uh, heck, if you're watching this far, you obviously got something out of it. So please do give a like and subscribe to see more. You can also consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. Many thanks to all those already supporting me, such as Aina the Khajiit <laughs> and others who are my early Patreon supporters. Thank you very much. Prince Lotun, we have returned. This is what I most feared. Poor Lairton, as I promised, Here's what I've heard about Lysandus. I don't know how much of this is secret, but I trust you. Lysandus was in love with his court sorceress, a noblewoman named Medora Direna, or Direne. And during the war with us, his queen found out. They say that while her husband was gone, Queen Minasera banished Medora from the court. My sister Abaki is queen now, part of the treaty to ensure peace, but Minasera still resides at Castle Daggerfall as the Dowager Queen Mother. I don't know where Medora went, but I know she has an enormous castle somewhere on the Isle of Balfiera. But I also heard there is some kind of curse on her, and she can never leave. I don't know if that helps you, but that's all I know. Again, thank you for Lairton's letter. Just knowing what happened will ease my heart somewhat. Please take this sash as a token of my appreciation. Sash. Thank you very much. Cheers to you, Lotun, and to all of you watching. Epilogue. As I leave you, I think I will briefly take a trip back to Queen Akarithi to see if she has anything interesting to say now that we know more and her second, or should we say third, son also knows more about some of the family dealings. I'm curious to see if she will say anything different to us now. Not to be safe. We better save again. Greetings, fair queen. I hope you are as good as ever I thought you were. That's what Nazim thinks to himself, but he does not say this out loud. She has no words for us right now. Very interesting. And what about you? <laughs> Prince Greklith simply makes a strange noise at us. You see cash. Well met, stranger. Salutations, cash. What is on the tongue of polite society these days? Don't spread this around, but Alcare and Illison Hills are working together. Okay, fair enough. And what of you, attendant to the Queen? What do you have to say? Please help me. My friend Fernan is missing. I'm afraid they might have been hurt. I will pay you 473 gold pieces if you find him. Very well. My prayers have been answered. Ferdinand has not been seen for four days, and I'm very worried about him. He has been seen consorting with Logum and Caird. You might want to start with them. If you can't find Ferdinand within two days, 
You need not search any further. Okay. So we will proceed with that little side quest next time. Thank you all for joining me. As I said earlier, please do like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more. And uh, consider supporting me at patreon.com slash the drake. That provides support for my video production as well as my indie game development under the name Golden Drake Studios. And please also look into Golden Drake Linux if you're interested in trying out a gaming and game development focused Linux distribution. And in any case, just thank you for watching. And I hope you do enjoy my kind of chill approach to gaming videos. If you have any suggestions for me or any commentary about this game or my character or my playthrough, please do leave a comment down below. Also, be good to yourself and everyone around you. I will see you next time.